All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're taking out the Premium Sims Class American Destroyer. It's Tier 7, and of all its talents, its highest rating is its maneuverability. It's got a 39 knot top speed. It's got an exceptional turn radius of only 500 meters. Rudder shift time of three and a half seconds. What do all those numbers mean? This thing is incredibly maneuverable, quite frankly. Now, it does have American torpedoes, so we've got a max range of five and a half kilometers. So, quite frankly, um, it's going to be very difficult to ambush people with torpedoes or fire torpedoes ahead of them, mainly because our surface detectability range um, exceeds the maximum range of our torpedoes, whereas Japanese uh, destroyers I am a huge fan of because it's it's much uh, more viable to basically kind of preempt where someone's going, track them, and lead them with torpedoes while remaining unseen. So it's a little, little difficult um, right now. So basically what I'm doing is I can stay out of someone's range, but as far as like, unless they're coming directly at me, it'll be very, very difficult to lead them with torpedoes. Now I haven't played World of Warships in a few days, maybe two or three days. Um, I've been pretty much in the Star Wars mindset lately, what with, you know, the whole Star Wars celebration happening and um, pretty much the trailer for The Force Awakens and uh, uh, the, little, the reveal, would you call it that, of Star Wars Battlefront, a game I'm very, very excited for. So. But you, the reason that I am sailing The Sims is because you guys requested it. I asked, hey, what of the premium ships would you like to see next? So I'm going to ask that question again, and I would like to see a lot of feedback that I got last time. It's awesome to see you guys interacting and leaving comments because I take those into account. So we've got a Hatsuharu. This thing has really good range for a destroyer. About, tw let's see, 12.84 kilometers. That's pretty dang good. So as long as we don't fire. Now see this Aoba. This is something that could wreck me. And there's a Sims heading this way, right? He's been detected. Uh, as far as I am aware, I don't think I'm in range of anybody. So what we're going to do is kind of see where he's headed. He's heading away from us. So my torpedoes will run out of um, basically propellant. Well, so, you know, much much faster now that sims spark he just took out what was it uh, the enemy hatsuharu tier 7 japanese destroyer did pretty good now i am going to come into yeah once once you start firing the main guns and i'm within the air visibility which is 3.7 kilometers so i am visible but i don't think i'm like the primary target that people are interested in so as a destroyer, I feel like, look at that, this Aoba sees me, he's going to be opening up for me. But even though he's got a very quick fire rate, I'm exceptionally maneuverable. Good lord. Those torpedoes, man. This poor Fuso. So as long as we stay serpentine and evade, we basically will be able to avoid the Aoba's main guns. Now I'm kind of getting close to a Cleveland and that Fuso, so hopefully the Aoba sees that as a major threat and wants to pull away and will instead be firing at them. These are my hopes, but we have to kind of play the battle and see how it, see how it plays out. Um, to play us out, what does that even mean? You guys ever see that? You know what, since we're sighted, we're going to fire because I think American destroyers are going to have to use primarily um, their guns, honestly. I don't know how far ahead those are or not, but the destroyer's guns, man. All right, we're getting hits. I'm not hearing any shells fired. That's really strange. That's exceptionally strange. So, could be a weird little glitch on my part, on my computer side. I I don't think it's game side, but you never know. Actually, it's got to be game side because I hear other sound effects. So, quick little restart, but close beta, what are you going to do? Things happen. Ship happens, ladies and gentlemen. 
So it looks like we've got some uh, two Fusos over there. Now those are good targets for torpedoes. But um, these American torpedoes actually are quick. But it's at the cost of range. Um, 65 knots. Fairly decent as far as American uh, torpedoes goes. It's turning in. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what's up with the, our main guns. There's the AO, but that's the biggest threat to me as far as I see it. But he's running away because he saw the ships over here. Now, my friendly ships are also going away. So I'm not... I haven't quite really determined how I want to play my sims yet. Because when I'm, when I'm in a destroyer, I primarily rely on torpedoes. I guess I could run in... But see, there's two, a Gremiashi and a Sims right over here. I could play anti-destroyers, maybe. But both of these guys, like the Sims, has just as good of guns as I do. I mean, he is me. I am him and he is me. So we're gonna, we're gonna focus on the Sims. That's gonna be kind of what I'm gonna be doing. It's really strange, quite frankly. To not be able to hear anything yet. All right, so is he coming at me? That's the that's the question of the day. Oh God! I, I see. I have the maneuverability. That that fault is all mine, quite frankly. That I ran. Man, I've been saying quite frankly a lot. You know what's funny is like there was a guy I knew that said it all the time, and quite frankly, it got annoying. <laughs> see what I did there? I'm so witty. Gremiashi! I do like that there's a Soviet Navy in here. Um, that's not to say that they're working on the Soviet Navy first. They're gonna release probably the uh, Royal Navy. We are having shots incoming. And my main turret got damaged. We took him out. We took out the Gremiashi. America! Alright. Now... Who fired those torpedoes? Would they be from the Gremiashi or the Sims that I shot? Either way, I don't think they're a major threat, but you don't like to get hit with torpedoes if you're in a destroyer. It is embarrassing. Especially ones that are not ninja torpedoes. So we've got one kill and only ten hits. So now we're going to move in a little closer. We've got the Aoba, which we have to be mindful of. The enemy destroyers are dead, at least in this area. There's two left. But I don't see them. So now that the destroyers are dead, um, I think that the only one that's really a true, true threat um, on their part. Like, I think I can out-sail Fuso's main guns. I can see them coming. I can adjust. That is my hope. I hear, I hear shells. They could be sailing above, over me. Okay, we've got an incoming destroyer. It is an enemy Sims. He does see me, and he is shooting at me, so... Yep. But this is why this thing has a 97 rating as far as maneuverability. It's exceptionally, exceptionally maneuverable. So as long as you're changing course, it's going to be very difficult for people to preempt where you are. That's what this game's all about, man. They're going to see you, they're going to try to lead you, and they're going to try to sink you. So as long as... If you're in a destroyer, you have to be kind of less predictable. And um, at the cost of your own accuracy, you're going to want to be maneuvering a lot. But, um, I mean, you're a destroyer. You, and you've got exceptionally high fire rates. So it shouldn't be, it should be a relative non-issue for you. Now, I'm doing absolutely nothing to that Fuso. Even though I'm tier 7, I've got small guns. I've got four 127 millimeter main guns. No secondaries. Any aircraft is not too great. Um, we have a rating of, I think it's, thir no, 11. So basically, going off the rating, we're not too strong. Now what I want to do is take out this Sims. Holy shiza. Oh, he's turning. There are kind of weird issues with the smoke and kind of lag at times, but he's doing a really good job of changing his course around. So how are we doing? We've lost one ship. We just lost one ship. So the advantage is ours. Now there's an Aoba and a Foos over here. Um... So let's let's start heading that way. Now my main guns won't do a whole lot to the Fuso, so I'm gonna switch over to the Aoba. 
because he's a bigger threat, and if I get in close, I should be able to torpedo. How are those going? Little... Yeah, see how quick your fire rate is? So, I don't focus too much. Um, you can't really get lured into the tunnel vision that is scoping in. That's more of what battleships do. If you're doing that in a destroyer, you could die. And you probably will, because battleships... A key thing with battleships, they can one-hit you. Look where their main guns are facing. This guy's not facing me, although he does have secondary... Hold on, this is a perfect situation for torpedoes. And his secondaries are opening up. So I'm going to fire torpedoes and I'm going to run. Hopefully... Hopefully my torpedoes hit him before anyone's main guns. So I get the kill. That Congo... almost said Magami. I think we're pretty good on these torpedoes. Yes, we are. Alright, two ships down. First time in The Sims. And I'm still trying to feel out its role. Um, torpedoes should be used opportunistically. I base my entire Japanese destroyer strategy around torpedoes. With this Sims, they're kind of an afterthought, quite frankly. Um, pick off lighter targets and kind of skirt in and out of the battle. So we've got a Ranger over there right next to a Fuso. But this Aoba, who is an extremely dangerous threat for a ship like myself, is kind of in that distance. There's a Sims over there. I'm going to turn my attention to the Sims. I'm going to play anti-destroyer and protect the Congo. Battleships, one of their main weaknesses is uh, well-played destroyers. So, but he, we know we're very well aware of that guy's strengths and weaknesses because we are him. Now, I've only been hit once and I, I wonder if that damage was sustained. It's, it's difficult quite, you know, I almost said quite frankly, to uh, focus on everything from commentary to the battle and all that. Let's switch over to HE. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna get a broadside. That's really bad. But he's gonna get hit with the secondaries. Oh uh, yeah, he jumped he dumped torpedoes, took out that Congo. I should have recognized that. I put that Congo's life on me, honestly. I should have been playing Where's that Aoba? There's an Omaha. Am I just out of range? Now, I'm gonna try to get this Ranger. I think Rangers are pretty quick. Damn, there's that Aoba. And he's coming this way. Uh, my team's pretty much secured the other side. This is gonna be interesting, actually. I have an Omaha and an Aoba, and then two targets that I would be perfectly content with dealing by myself. The uh, Fuso and the Ranger. Alright, this could be a, a, a time when I can use torpedoes. Because I see where he's headed. Um, I only have a range of 5.5 kilometers. Alright, we gotta move because you never know. And, you know what, let's start messing this guy up. And I want to use HE on the carriers. I'm used to dealing with low tier carriers. But I want to catch him on fire. If I can catch the flight deck on fire, it will reduce his effectiveness in that he won't be able to basically... And I have to be moving constantly because these cruisers and the Fuso are all seeing me as a nice easy kill if they can one hit me. Get a good salvo on. So it's difficult to continue maneuvering. I really want to catch him on fire to use... Ooh, we're taking some shots at us. Yeah, you can see those dive bombers getting ready to take off. But since I've got 12 kilometer range, and I scared him off, so they won't be able to cap. I can basically... Now this guy's my main threat, this Aoba. I have to... Okay, we got a hit to the Citadel on the Ranger. That's fantastic. So, I don't know where this Aoba... Okay, the Aoba's firing at me. If I take any hits... Yeah, this 97 rating on maneuverability is you basically just uh i remember playing war of the roses right and it was a really great night game i thought it was better than chivalry as far as the combat mechanics were concerned but um who's coming at us oh we got dive bombers coming at us so i can't really use smoke screen i'm not sure if that works actually against planes 
It would be something interesting. Let's see how we fare. But I feel like, you know, zigzagging. They still got the, uh... Oh, he hit us. Oh, we got... Okay. The Sims. We got a Sims coming at us, so... We're gonna maneuver. We're gonna hope he doesn't. These torpedoes probably won't hit him. But, um... I want him second-guessing. I want him maybe veering off course. I've also got this Aoba. Actually, he's going to be an easier target to hit, in theory. You never know. You always have to play the captain, too. And quite frankly, I don't know anything about these guys. But, um, how are we doing team-wise? It's four versus four. Oh, that's really bad. I got to drop smoke. Because they got my propulsion. And my repairs. Oh, I did have a repair. Okay. I uh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the torpedoes. Assault, so the torpedoes have a rate of uh, I think it's 0.7 rounds per minute. So it's a l over a minute rearm time. But I think I might be able to do some work on this Aoba. I mean, he's only got 3,700 XP. I've got 13. He's got really really good guns though. Yeah, he's pulling off. He's scared. So I'm chasing them off, uh, playing very, very defensively. The only three remaining ships are on the side. I need my allies to get over here so that I can get some help in dealing with these. I've got a Sims. That's who I'm really worried about. And the Fuso, I'm not too worried about. I can see his shots. This guy has really good rate of fire. <laughs> Alright, but... We're going to use that 97 maneuverability and hope to... You can actually dodge all these shots. Yeah, those are going way over me. Alright, so basically just defending this. And that guy's getting really close to the extent of my range, that Aoba. But it'd be great to hit him. And the enemy base... Okay, we're capping the enemy base. We'll actually... This is one of those things where it's like... I use a basketball analogy in that, um, oh man, those are way well behind, in that like a lot of defensive uh, attributes, if you're playing basketball, a lot of playing defense doesn't come on um, the statistics, you know what I mean? Man, I don't know where that destroyer is, he's hiding. Like uh, basically being in someone's face so he can't shoot the ball, that's not a rebound, that's not a block, that's not a steal. Can you still control planes when dead? No, you cannot. Um, so I think I've kind of got a lot of really good defense going on right now. Now, that Aoba's kamikaze -ing. We've got a minute 57, so I am fine with dying. I would like to, eh, chase the Aoba down. I guess that's my best bet, given the amount of time I have left. Like, I'm not going to be able to kill that battleship. Killing the destroyer's even a harder task, I think. Those are not even close. So, we're gonna. F this is being forced into a draw, unfortunately. So, let's chase this guy. Alright, so we got 71 hits, which is pretty damn good, I think. One torpedo hit, two ships sunk, two citadels. We're getting slight hits on this Aoba. He's knocked out. Now, we weren't able to get the final blow on him, but I think that he did his service in dismantling our attempt. So this is going to go down to a draw. How's our team doing as far as kills? That Fuso on the enemy team. Oh, we should have seen that earlier. You know, it's like ancient warfare, seeing their champion and going and punching him right in the mouth. Alright, okay, so we're back. 35 seconds, my torpedoes won't do anything. We just want to avoid getting shot. And basically do as many... As much hits as we can in the last couple seconds. I can get a couple more salvos. Ooh, we got a critically damaged. That's always good. 11 seconds. Can we get two more? I think we might... These will probably not make it. 
hit. Oh, those counted good. All right, so how do we do on hits? I'd say overall for playing the Sims class first time, 1398, meh, 90 hits, almost 100 hits in a destroyer with only four guns. I think that's pretty good. I like the open water maps, the ocean, as it were. So how do we do on our team? Fourth place, only good enough for fourth place, but it seems this was a battleships game. Now, this guy had a fantastic game. Ah, uh, that Aoba, if I had, I kind of, I want to put it on myself here. If I had taken that Aoba out, um, he wouldn't have hit our guy, so he wouldn't have reset the cap. I should have seen that. These are things you only really learn from experience. That's why you can have all the ability in the world, right? As a warrior, let's say, like, just in, in general and in other video games. But the old veterans, they know things. They see things prior to them happening. And that only comes with experience, is that vision for the battle. And that is what we lacked that game, although we did play good first time in The Sims. Uh, 29,000 damage with 78 hits. Only 61 of those penetrated, though. Um, and then 4,000 on 14 hits with HE. So let's go over the Sims here. Take a look at this bad boy. I just got the Nagato. Congratulations. Love the videos. Oh, I appreciate it. Jimmy Jimbo Jimbob. That is an amazing name. I love the names. All right, so I was talking about the, the different ratings and the different statistics, right? So you can see here, if you just look at the scores, right, maneuverability is your main attribute. Concealment is your secondary attribute with regards to, like, kind of what the skill's going to be, or what the ship's going to be best at. I was talking about uh, detectability range. Now, this is what kind of stinks about American destroyers for the most part. I have a surface detectability range of 7.6 kilometers. Now, when you look at my torpedoes, they've got a range of 5.5 kilometers. I can only drop those when I'm within sight of enemy warships. That means I can't really torpedo cruisers as well. I can duel it out with destroyers, but destroyers, if it's captained by a competent person... And that, you know, they're kind of aware and it's not like ninja torpedoes, like they come around a, an island and boom, you, you know, preempted that and launched torpedoes. They should be able to avoid the torpedoes or severely, severely mitigate their effectiveness. So I don't like to use torpedoes and other destroyers for the most part. There's obviously exceptions. And cruisers basically mean I don't feel comfortable running at them and trying to torpedo them. Although you could go serpentine. Cruisers just have really big guns and really quick fire rate so I feel like that's kind of a death sentence you may take them out but you may die right and if you haven't done if you haven't been effective enough then I don't know if that's a decent trade because destroyers are really really good at scaring off battleships from going for the objectives right so man yeah you only got 427 millimeter guns your torpedoes are meh but I tell you what if you get hit with a torpedo in your Sims class and it's not a, a, like a surprise torpedo, you kind of screwed up because this thing's maneuverability, speed, everything like that is amazing. And you can even upgrade your rudder if you wanted to. So you could make this thing even, even faster, I believe. Yep. Steering gears. Here it is. You can decrease your rudder shift time, which is only 3.5 seconds. That's pretty nuts. Um, and there's all sorts of other upgrades. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Sims class. You guys requested it. I played it. Let me know which premium ship you want me to play next. Let's take a look. All right, we've got the Albany, the Atlanta. I have played the Atlanta. I played the Kitakami. The, I have the Ubari. And then we've got the Aurora, which I, I've played kind of not all on, on its own and we've got the Murmansk which is basically I think it was an Omaha so we've got a number of premium ships Sims, Atlanta, Aurora, Gremiashi, the Murmansk, the Yubari where are you hiding at? the Kitakami so which premium ship would you like to see me play next and here's the Albany, haven't played that one it would be interesting 
Um, I do like low tier battles, but who doesn't? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. Let me know which premium ship you'd like to see played next. And you know what? I'll be seeing you soon.